we have the man who cannot miss from long range, cannot miss from the free throw line. He is an elite shooter. Peyton Pritchard, welcome to the show, man. Thank you guys for having Great me. Great to see you. Great to see you, too. <laughs> so happy to have you on the show. Listen, the first thing I want to talk to you about is that shooting. Um, and I don't know if you know this, but you are the top shooter in NBA history from the free throw line among players who have attempted at least 66 mm. free throws. That's a weird number. Shout out to our guy Taylor Snow for pulling that stat. But okay. did you know that? I didn't, but you 92.4%. Know, there's a lot of time ahead, so we'll see if I can keep it. <laughs> Just keep no, keep bumping it up throughout that's, the that's season. The, that's the plan, but we'll see. <laughs> uh, no, first off season in your NBA career without a summer league. Mm -hmm. um, so my first question to you that is actually serious here: um, What did you do this off season to get mm -hmm. better? Uh, you know, I, I worked on my body a lot um, in different parts of my game, but for me, I think most people know I'm a hard worker, so. But I was really routine and um, tried to focus on certain areas of my game that I knew could help right away. So, um, so yeah. What are those so, areas? You know, a lot of it came, you know, I play off the ball some here. Like, it's a transition from college and mm -hmm. high school. I've had the ball. I've been a point guard all my life. So, and you're playing with other guards, you got to learn how to be effective off the ball. So, I see people like uh, Patty Mills. I mean, even... I'm not comparing myself to him, but Steph, how he moves without the ball and like, you know, makes people run and better off that way. Your three point percentage was higher than his last year. I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah, he takes a lot more though. But, uh, <laughs> but just like watching how they move without the ball and like how they can get, you know, scoring different ways. Um, I've uh, tried to add that to my game. I do have a question. Did you did you break your nose? I did. This summer? Your okay, nose. I think. Yeah, I did. I did. Oh I did. Max, it can we like can we bring months? this yeah. up? I think we have the video of you playing oh, in the got mask. The video. Oh, and no. then Marcus Smart commented on it. Obviously, there it but is. yeah. So, <laughs> what what happened? How did I break it? Yeah. yeah. How did? You <laughs> um. So one of my best friends, uh, we were playing. Uh, we were playing outside on a nine foot hoop, just <laughs> messing around. Tell he's me a you he's broke a it on yeah. the rim. No, he he elbowed me while we were up in the air, and I'm like, oh. And I knew right away that I broke it, but he felt bad. I mean, he's a football player, so he, he's a little aggressive. But <laughs> but you're you're good now. You don't need you nah, don't need anything nah, I'm for good. training yeah. camp, nah. mask or anything. I'm, okay. I'm out of the mask and everything. Okay, so, yeah. good, oh good, gosh. yeah. Let's not make it three times. I kind of like right. I kind of like this mask was all right though. This is one of my favorite masks. How is it different than the other one? It just kind of fit better. Okay. I could breathe a lot better in it. <laughs> yeah. You didn't, did you consider going Rip Hamilton and just keeping it for the rest nah. of your career? No, nah, I never thought about that. Okay. Well, if it happens three times, I like, I, I, like suggest seeing my face. You, I would suggest you take yeah. a thought about that of maybe wearing it for the rest <laughs> I, of your career. I, I, I did think about it, but I think I'm just going to take the chances. You know, I got these two front teeth are fake. Uh, they're capped because of getting knocked out. So yeah. my nose has been broken twice now. So. Jeez, you're like a hockey player. <laughs> yeah, it's, in, it's inevitable. It's going to be hit again. <laughs> Oh, my goodness. <laughs> but, Peyton, just for you looking ahead towards this season, obviously some changes going mm -hmm. on. Joe Missoula stepping in as the interim head coach. Tell us more about your relationship with him and, and what he brings to the table. Well, uh, Joe coached us uh, when I played summer league that one year. Um, so I've seen him as a head coach, and I think he's going to be tremendous. And uh, he's an extremely hard worker and intelligent in the game. So I think he'll do great. When you look at this team, uh, Peyton, and, and obviously you're bringing back most of the players from mm -hmm. last season, but you add a guy like Malcolm Brogdon, you lose a guy uh, in Robert Williams for the first eight to 12 weeks of the season. What do you think is the most important aspect of kind of putting this team together here as you, as you hit pr the practice court tomorrow um, with those couple of changes that, that mm -hmm. are happening with the roster? You know, I think it's just finding the identity. I think last year we kind of, uh, you know, on the defense end is where we started things. You know, our offense will carry and it will get better throughout the year uh, flowing together. But defensively, it's where we really got to put our foot down and be physical. And uh, we could be smaller at times, but, uh, you know, being physical and outrunning people. I've asked this to a couple of the guys who have sat down here today that, you know, Every team is its own entity. No matter how many of the people come back from the prior season, from the players to the coaches, mm -hmm. it's difficult to replicate things, mm -hmm. no matter how good you were the year before. So what is the key to you guys replicating what you did defensively last season? You know, I think it's just uh, it starts in practice. It starts every day. Um, you know, people, you know, doing the little things, uh, paying attention to game plans and stuff like that. But uh, I think our defense will be very similar. I mean, we, we kind of, like I said, we – we established a identity on that end, and you know we're going to carry it over. 
you now have a finals run under mm -hmm. your belt, this Celtics team, just having that experience now, that maturity. Mm -hmm. How do you think that that better sets you up for this season and, and just knowing how to handle those moments? For sure. I'm, I mean, I think it's a confidence boost. Uh, you know, going through the run we went through last year, how we started the season and then how we had to end the f season. Um, then going through the playoffs, I mean, it wasn't easy playing, you know, Brooklyn first round, uh, Milwaukee, then the Heat, then the Warriors. So we played, you know, tremendous teams and, um, you know, every team was a little different. So I think it's just we learned how to like game plan for different people and what it takes to make it that far. So um, I'm just looking forward to this year, though, and see what happens. Let's get you in the three point contest this year. I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah, I, that would be fun. I would do it. Have you done any before? I have. And, and? Uh, I don't think I've lost. Oh, oh okay. All well, right. Then well, you have to. stamp it. I'm going to send a note into Adam Silver. Let's make this happen. Let's do it. Let's All do right, it. Peyton. Appreciate it, man. Great Cheers. to see you. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. <laughs>